Representative Slagle. Members, I have no intention of rehashing the merits of this bill. We all know it does. We all know it doesn't do. It's simply about one thing, fairness in women's sports. And it passed overwhelmingly with 78 votes from both Democrats and Republicans with 50 co-authors. It is because of this bill we sit here today, breaking with tradition to exercise our constitutional right to consider bills that were vetoed by the governor. What I will address, though, are the governor's reasons for vetoing this bill. The governor stated that it's divisive and that we should be looking to unite our citizens. Well, our citizens are united. They are united in favor of this bill. The citizens called and they emailed our offices demanding a veto override session to protect women in sports. And if you've seen the polling on it, then you know in this state, in every single district, whether it's Democrats, Republicans, independents, they overwhelmingly believe biological males should not play female sports. The governor also believes it's a solution in search of a problem. That is not a valid reason. We vote on bills every single section, session that are forward thinking. And if you look all over the country and the world, this is a growing problem. Biological men are taking the place of biological women in girls' sports, from winning state championships to taking spots on Olympic teams. You just saw a female Louisiana Olympic athlete stand before us. If a biological male decided he was female, she could easily be staying home and not going to the Olympics this summer. The governor also claims that it will hurt economic development because the NCAA might not hold a tournament here. Despite the fact that we've already seen the NCAA back down on their threats in other states, recently in Florida, it's unimaginable to me that we would let any outside organization hold our state hostage on a bill, especially this one. Members, the two organizations who are directly involved in this, the Louisiana High School Athletic Association and Superintendents Association have all publicly, in writing, expressed their support for this bill, both during the session and most recently, a couple of weeks ago, when the veto session was evident. They absolutely, 100% support this bill and want it to pass. And lastly, and most importantly to me, the governor also stated that he is concerned about the mental health of vulnerable populations. As a counselor, I could not agree more. I believe that we all have immense worth and value and that we should treat others with respect and dignity. We should care about the mental health needs of others, especially those who are struggling. The solution, though, is to help people get the necessary mental health services they need, not to take away opportunities from women. This is the truth the governor refuses to acknowledge. Respecting biological differences is not discrimination. It's not hate. It is what is evident and is what is true. I ask that you stand by your original vote and you stand with the people of Louisiana to protect women in sports. Thank you. And Mr. Speaker, this bill has been debated been debated four times, so I respectively waive questions.